Uh, what's up everybody, uh, Afro Joe here, I just did a video about a moment ago about a celebrity, but tonight I'm going to talk, right now this video is going to be based on George Lucas, on how he sold Lucas Films to Disney, and he's now solo owner, and now he's happy because he goes from the creator of Star Wars to the fan of Star Wars, now I'm going to put the story in the book, in the description box where I'm kind of heartbroken when I heard about this news. I was so fucking infuriated. And the reason why is because he sold it to Disney. He sold it to Disney. Now, he could have sold it to anybody. He could have sold it to Kevin Smith. Sold it to somebody that's a nerd and retrieved Star Wars and Lucas Films like it's their babies. And when I heard that he sold it, I was so hurt. I could not go on as Afro Joe the Wookiee. I had to drop the Wookiee name because he sold it to Disney. Now, I'm heartbroken because he did it. But I find out that Disney, that he's been working on a script, the storyline for Star Wars 7, Star Wars 8, Star Wars 9 that's going to be following up. Because Star Wars 7 is going to come out in 2015. Like I said, I'm heartbroken that he did this, and it really hurt, it struck me, because being a nerd man like me, loving the Star Wars franchise and trilogies, really hurt me so much to the core that the name Wookiee does not exist with my name, Afro Joe the Wookiee, there's just Afro Joe, so is with Fro Joe, he's upset, he's crying in the corner, and uh, he has dropped the name Ewok because of this because this is sad this is like a nerd's heartache it's like a nerd losing a parent when George Lucas sold Lucas Films to Disney to me that's how, they, that's how I see it like why why man why like why really why why would you sell your company to why would you sell your company to Disney out of every any like for real though like Disney did you did you hear what a few years ago that Marvel had to sell their shit to Disney and look how they now look how Disney turned their shit up Disney Disney can make good movies but come on now come on do you really want Star Wars to be watered down with Disney shit cause I really don't want to see Goofy as Darth Vader or Pluto as Chewbacca come on I really don't want to see Mickey Mouse as Obi-Wan Kenobi and uh, Minnie Mouse as Princess Leia and Daisy Duck as Panama Amidala I don't want to see that I don't want to see that that's disgusting You probably saying, "Why are you being so damn such? Why are you being so evil towards Disney?" Cause I like my nerdiness like it is. I like my nerdiness like it is. So from now on, I'm dropping the name Wookie from my name. And Afro and Frojo is dropping Ewok from his name because this is a disgrace to nerds. It's like George Lucas putting baby powder on his hand. And giving us a fucking big ass smack and saying fuck you. Because Disney does not deserve to own own Lucas Films. When they sold when he sold Lucas Film, he sold Skywalker Ranch. And I will hate to sit up here and say when people say the Wookiee's a gimmick. I hate to sit up and say, go up to Mickey Mouse and tell that to his face. I hate to say this. You're probably saying, quit crying over it. No, you don't know how it is, man. When you love something so much and you like the way it is and they change it, you be pissed off too. And every time I think about it, it hurts. It hurts my inner nerd. It hurts my inner nerd. I know there's a lot of nerds out there hurting. They're like, oh, 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 oh. This story is like kryptonite to Superman. This is like kryptonite to Superman. It's like 
the color yellow to Green Lantern. For real, man, it's like that, dude, to a nerd. It hurts like a motherfucker. If I was in George Lucas' shoes and I wanted to sell the company, at least sell it to a nerd that will cherish it like if it was their own. Like if it's their own, because I know there is no fucking nerd that wants to see Mickey Mouse as Obi-Wan fucking Kenobi. I don't want my Star Trek to be fucking watered down. That's how it is. I do not want my Star Wars to be watered out. And y'all probably say, well, maybe it's for the best bull fucking shit. How would you feel to see Superman as Mickey Mouse? How'd you fucking feel? How would you feel that Willie, how would you feel that Nissan, now how would you feel that Louis, Louis Vuitton sold his company to the people that owns Willy Wonka? That owns the Wonka franchise. How would you feel that your clothes would be made out of candy? It's like, it's like, it's like Nissan buying the Willy Wonka company. I know Willy Wonka's not a real person, but think about it. The company of Willy Wonka. What if Nissan bought... It would be kind of fucked up because you don't want to see your candy look like a big-ass automobile can car. Big-ass motor made out of a fucking jelly, made out of fucking gummy bears. You know, you wouldn't want that. You wouldn't want that. You really want that. Really wouldn't want that. You see what I'm saying? So this goes out to all my nerds. My nerd brothers. Please tell me what you think in a video response or comment about this. How do you feel about the godfather of one of the, one of the godfathers of sci-fi selling the business? How, would, how, how do you feel? I, like one thing is he probably said well he wanted to retire like I said he could have sold Lucas Films to a big nerd he could have sold it to fucking Bill Gates he could have sold it to Kim. I know Kevin Smith ain't got a lot of money to buy Lucas Films but he could have sold it to Kevin Smith so he can keep keep the Star Wars trilogy alive and well because like I said man to see it go down to see to think about how bad it's gonna to me I think when start when Disney starts doing the Star Wars movie I think they're gonna kill it they're gonna kill it because one thing is for Disney to own this it, it's terrible to me it's terrible because like I said man I grew, like I know the Star Wars movies like the original Star Wars movies was made back before I was even born but the, when they came out with the first three the first three to tell the story on how did it get to this how did it get to where it was I, I was there I, what, I actually watched it The Phantom Menace, The Clones the Sith, I watched it, loved it. I'm a big Star Wars fan. I will, like I always wanted to meet George Lucas, but now I'm like I really don't want to. Like to me, he seen, to me it's just like killing off every nerd in the world, and there was not, and sci-fi doesn't exist. It's like that. It's like George Lucas killed sci-fi and killed comic books and killed the nerds off just by doing that shit. Because one thing is nerds look up to people like him, look up to people like him and Kevin Smith and people who, and Stan Lee. To, to Stan Lee, to George Lucas, to Kevin Smith, to... Steven Spielberg when they did nerdy movies like when they did sci-fi movies because it was worth watching it was the best shit to ever watch but to sit there and do this just to crush the hopes like 
of upcoming future nerds, man. Like, what's Star Wars? Like, I really cannot. If I had a son and my son asked me, Daddy, what's Star Wars? I wouldn't even tell him what the hell a Star Wars was. Because how bad I feel about this big sale. Oh, but it's still part owner. To me, it looks like he's not. If you let Disney buy your shit, you're not even a fucking owner. If they buy half the stock and part of your business, you're not even owner of your business. You didn't. You've been bought out by. He, he's been bought out by an evil, disgusting, nasty piece of shit. Piece of shit to me. I'm telling you, I just like. This, it's like this. When Disney was doing Lion King, Alice in Wonderland, Snow White and Seven Doors, uh, Sleeping Beauty, Aristocats, Peter Pan, and shit, Star Lion King, shit like that, I'm cool with it. I separated my Disney shit from my sci-fi shit because my Disney shit don't need to be fooling around in my sci-fi shit. Yes, they did Tron and Tron Legacy. Yeah, cool, fine. That was all right. The movies, actually, the movies was great. There was good sci-fi movies, but to cross the line, the line, and buying Chewbacca and eat and Wicked and turn into their fucking slaves. To me, they, they it seems like they put a collar on Chewbacca and put and just chain him to a fucking stage just to put put on the song and dance for Mickey Mouse and Mickey Mouse throwing peanuts at him and to me that's what I see I see Mickey Mouse sitting out in the audience throwing peanuts at Chewbacca and it, and, and and that's how I see it this sale makes me look at that Mickey Mouse laughing at the Wookiee and you got Ewok and you got Wicked in the fucking cage at a petting zoo that's how I see Disney's putting Chewbacca. I know it's fictional character, but that's how I see it. I cannot go on as Afro Joe the Wookiee because of this. Because it, because <laughs> you probably say you need to grow up and stop being such a bitch. How, like, how would you feel if Disney bought Disney bought the Miami Heat or Chicago Bulls or they bought the New York Yankees or the Chicago Bears or the or they or a Boston Red Sox or 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 was it New York Red Sox but I, I'm not a sports fan but uh what if they like bought the Titans or the Vikings or the Cougars or or bought the Lakers or bought <laughs> bought these teams and they flipped it what if they bought in it the in it fell what if they bought the NBA they got enough money to do that what if they did buy the NBA and the in it fell and the hockey league oh my god it will be such bullshit but I said well probably for the best think about it Mickey Mouse is, is Mickey Mouse is your fucking mascot Mickey Mickey Mouse your fucking mascot. Think about it. Mickey Mouse is every team's mascot. Every team in every league. It's mascot. Think about it. Would you want to see Mickey Mouse as your fucking mascot? There'll be one mascot that means you're Boston Mickey Mouse or the Chicago Mickey Mouse or like think about it. Think about it if Disney bought them leagues. And they, and then every character, every uh, <laughs> every every, uh, I just can't stand it that to see this. I can't. He probably saying, "Quit moping, dude. It's just, it's just a fish out fishing movie." I know, but when you're like, it's like saying, it's like sitting up there taking a original Superman comic book a Superman comic book and going into a room filled with nerds that love Superman or a Batman comic book 
and just ripping it right in front of them or taking an X-Men comic book and just tearing it right in front of them uh uh I'm just so hurting I'm just so hurting I'm just uh Lord Jesus if there is a God Disney will sell if I know there's a God but if God loves uh, like for I know God loves me but if Lord if God can just sit there and just let Disney sell back Lucas films and let him put the company in the right hands the right hands where Star Wars wouldn't be so watered fucking down and filled with nothing but Disney characters. I really don't want to see a fucking Mickey Mouse in a fucking Obi-Wan Kenobi role. I really don't want to see Goofy dressed in all black with a converter box on his chest. I don't want to see Pluto barking as if he was Chewbacca. I really don't want to see. <laughs> I really don't want to see Donald Duck. It's Luke Skywalker. I really don't. That's not a pretty picture. <sighs> and I really don't like for real. I don't want to see C3PO as a. I don't want to see R2D2 as a fucking trash can. That damn show. Damn show. Don't want to see C3PO as a fucking street lamp. Street lamp. <laughs> That's one thing I don't want to see. <laughs> Excuse me, but like I said, man, it's it's the great to me. It's the grading. It's the grading. It's the grading. But I'm happy that the movie that they're gonna that Star Wars Seven is gonna come out in 2015. I really want to watch it. I can't wait for it to come out. It's like, well, you're being a hypocrite if you do, if you really want to watch the, the Star Wars Seven. Like, yeah, I'm still going to be a Star Wars fan, but I'm just hurting by it. Like, it hurts my feelings that he did this, but, but, like I said, to all my, to all my nerds out there, please give me a comment or a video, respo video response telling me how do you feel and what do you think about George Lucas selling Lucas films to Mickey fucking Mouse? How do you feel about this? Because to me, it's hurtful. It's hurtful. It's like a mule kicking me in my damn chest. It hurt. It hurts, man. It hurts. It'd be kind of funny that Disney... It would be fucked up as Disney. So, it would be fucked up if they sold Disney to Nickelodeon. Because right there, it'd be funny as shit to see Mickey Mouse getting hit by a car. Or Donald Duck cooked as a fucking Thanksgiving turkey. More like a Thanksgiving dub, but you see, get what I'm saying. See what I'm saying? But this is just so down to see. I cannot, I can't even do the Wookie Con no more. I can't even do it. Every time I think about this, talk, I can't even do it. I can't even do it. I can't even do the Wookie Con no more because it hurts so much. I can't be the Wookie no more. I can't. I can't. Oh, I can't be the Wookiee no more. Why, George Lucas? Why, man? Why did you sell the company to a disgusting piece of shit called Disney? Why? This, that, that, oh, why? Why did you want to hurt the nerds so much? Why did you want to hurt us so much? Why? It's like Stanley. Well, Stanley is part of my. It's like Stanley selling. It's like, it's like Stanley selling. Marvel Comics to porn. It'd be kind of funny to see Wolverine. Well, there's actually cartoons out there. Well, actually, porn out because I got friends that know. But it's like Stanley signing Marvel Comics to porn. And all that's going to be in a comic book is Superman fucking. It'll be like. It'll be like Spider Man fucking Storm or. 
or Mr. Fantastic is having a fucking threesome with Mystique and Susan Storm. It'd be kind of it'd be kind of fun to watch that, but it's like this, man. I just I just can't stand it that he did this shit. I still cannot get over this shit, man. I still can't. I still can't believe he did this. But uh, like I said, man, for all my nerds out there and everybody else, please tell me what you like. One thing is don't sit up there and start bad math my ass because fuck you anyway. Fuck you, kiss my ass, burn half for all I care. But for my actually for my nerds out there, give me a video response or a comment telling me what do you think about George Lucas selling Lucas films to Disney? Because that's what I want to know. I want to know what my nerd brothers and sisters think about that. I want to know what they think about this. This has been Afro Joe, 10 like a TIS again. Peace, love, and soul. Follow me on Twitter at, uh, at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, CeeLo Jr. 2, CeeLo Jr. 3. Follow me on Tumblr. It's going to be in the description box. So it's the story of George Lucas selling Disney, uh, selling Lucasfilm to Disney. Peace.